Okay, I've just got back from uh, a week away in, uh, in Europe and uh, I'm taking a look at the, the fish. We've had some serious rain this week. Uh, you can see the garden is uh, very green, uh, which is a big change for, for Cape Town. Uh, the fish haven't been fed a lot while I was away. My son was looking after them, so uh, uh, I just asked him to feed them maybe once a, once a day. The water is also very cold. I think it's about 14 uh, or 15 degrees at the moment, so it's not, uh, uh, it's not great for feeding anyway. Um, but they're looking in pretty good, uh, pretty good nick. I need to actually start getting my breeding going for the, for the season and work out what I'm gonna, gonna spawn and get the tanks ready. I haven't even started yet, normally this time of year. Um, I'm actually, uh, on my way already. But, uh, yeah, I've just been really hectic. But you can see the fish are looking really, really good bulking quite a lot even though they're not getting a lot of food they seem to to bulk I mean obviously the females bulk with eggs in uh, uh, in winter but the colors are quite bright I mean that's a sign that they haven't had food for a while it brings out the white in the fish you can see the quark at the back normally uh, fairly yellowish I'm actually walking behind them as they as they swim the, the, the quark is normally fairly yellowish but uh, with the um, with not feeding the, the white has come out so nicely um, that's the other side of the pond. I say, yeah, looking good, really happy. Some of the babies in here are looking really good as well. Most of the smaller fish, so the mid sized fish in here, uh, are homebreds, uh, and then the rest are either breeding stock or just kind of bigger ones that I've, I've, uh, I've had. Lots of gosanki. I love shawa. It's my favorite fish and it's actually the fish I breed most often. So most of the shawa in here, if not all the shawa in here, are actually uh, homebreds. There's a good kindai shawa that uh, is homebred. You can see how the white is just popping now. There's a sanki female. Really, really fat. So I might do sanki this year. I've never bred sanki before properly. I mean, I tried once. It was a mess. So uh, it might be worth having a having a look at because um, I've got some really good Sankey males uh, in here to, to spawn her with um, and obviously I'll do I'll do shower again just because I like them so much I could even do Kohaku that's a Kohaku male that uh, mid-sized one there it's really nice and then the, the big Kohaku female uh, is a nice option as well I thought of maybe crossing her back to Sankey or shower but uh, I'm not sure how well that would work but you can see she's amazing look at that So yeah, fish coming on really, really nicely. Can't wait for summer to get some growth into these guys. Uh, the reason I thinned out so hectically is I want to get uh, uh, fish over the 80 centimeter mark. At the moment, I've possibly only got about two fish that are over 80. The rest are, the biggest ones are in 70s, but uh, or, or top in 60s, but I really want to push um, to get the bigger sizes in. And the only way I can do that is by thinning out and having better water quality. There's tons of birds that come into this garden all the time. I've started feeding them, and I actually started feeding them when uh, we uh, battled with water because they were just not getting water, they weren't getting food. They're coming to the ponds to get water, so I thought I'd put some seed out for them. Now this is like a like a restaurant here. Every morning they they pile in and they just char. Uh, they just char food uh, until it's finished. I mean, I literally go through like a five kg bag every second week because uh, these things eat so much but uh, it really has brought a lot of uh, birds into the into the garden to, uh, to eat See the red on this fish is really, on these fish is really, really good. Mm. 
maybe let me know what you think. Maybe uh, give me some ideas in terms of what you think I should be breeding this uh, season. I'm going to document the whole thing. So let me know what you want to see. Uh, I mean, I can pretty much do anything that's in here. So from Karashigoi's Sankey Shower, Kohaku. I could even do Metallics as well. I've got a few. Um, I could do Kohaku to uh, Karashigoi to get Ochibas. That might be quite interesting. Um, but yeah, there really are quite a few options. So if you guys have got suggestions, let me know. And then let's see what we can uh, we can do. I literally would need to start the breeding in about, gosh, six weeks time. Uh, so uh, we're almost in September, but I, I start about a month later. So in October is the first time I'd actually, uh, I'd breed. So if you've got any ideas in terms of what you think I should be uh, spawning here, let me know, it might be, uh, might be quite interesting. And as always, if you guys are liking these videos, want to see more, please comment, please like, please share. Uh, it, uh, it really helps. And also tell me what you want to see. So if there's something specifically you want me to post on or make a video on, I'm really happy to, to do that. And I'm sorry that I haven't posted in a while. I've just been out of the country. Uh, and uh, it's been pretty hectic with work but uh, yeah I'll try and get some posted uh, we've got a long weekend at the moment so I'm gonna post some over the long weekend maybe also another one or two on Saturday or uh, or Sunday here's that fish that uh, that I got in that wasn't looking that great uh, it's come a long way since it's been there it's the it's the shower that's at the back here. Oh, it's hiding under the, under the other fish. There we go. It's coming up. You can see lots of sumi, lots of uh, really dark sumi. This is a homebred, so this is one of my, my babies. But uh, pretty doesn't have too much red on the face. But uh, what a nice fish. Oh. Another homebred tossai there in front, shower. There's a Gashiki female. I don't really like her too much. I think her body shape is a bit odd. It's a bit fat and uh, balloony, but uh, yeah. The little Maritain is coming on nicely. Definitely a male, but uh, what a nice fish. There's the other toss I always post about and we, we track the, the growth on. Sorry, you can see my shadow there. But there's the other little toss I. There we go. Black's starting to come through nicely. It's gonna be a good fish. Just need to wait and uh, wait and see. Also looks quite bulky, so I think it might be female. There's a big karashigo. I call this one friendly because it's just so so friendly and wants to uh, always come up and uh, meet you and eat food from your hand. So that's also an option for breeding for this uh, for this season. <laughs> 